वेलकम टू इको हॉलिक्स सो दिस इज अज वेर आई हैव बीन डूइंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आई ई एस जी वन पेपर सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इयर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन सो लेट्स सी वॉट क्वेश्चन सीज सो द क्वेश्चन रीड्स दैट एज्यूम दैट अ मोनोप्लिस्ट सेल्स अ प्रोडक्ट विद द कॉस्ट फंक्शन सी इक्वल्स टू एफ प्लस ट्वेंटी क्यू सो दिस एफ हेयर इट रिप्रेजेंट्स दैट दिस इज द फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ द मोनोप्लिस्ट and this is the variable cost where c is total cost f is a fixed cost and q is the level of output so the inverse demand function is this is the demand function inverse demand function where p is the price in the market so how much profit how much profit does the firm earn when it charges the price that maximize profit so we have to find the prices we have to find the prices and the profit when they when this monopolist will maximize their own profits and the another part says that at what price will the firm earn zero economic profits so they are just earning the normal profits and not super normal profits and neither the loss so coming to the first part they want to maximize their profit so every monopolist will maximize their profit at the point when mr is equal to mc so let's just see the solution so this is the cost function this is the price given to us like the inverse demand function from this i need to first find the total revenue so that i can find the mr and so i can uh, further i can find the marginal cost also so for finding mr i will first find total revenue so total revenue is price into q which is equal to 60 minus q into q so getting marginal revenue from this thing i will get 60 minus 2q so this is marginal revenue of this monopolist and i will get marginal cost from this cost function which will be marginal cost equals to so f that's a fixed cost so it will never be a part of marginal cost because it never changes with the quantity it is producing so marginal cost is just 20 so this is marginal cost i will equate them marginal revenue and marginal cost so i will get 60 minus 2q equals to 20 so i get 2q equals to 40 and then q equals to 20 so this is the quantity this monopolist will be selling it's the demanded quantity in the market of monopolist so he is going to sell this also so prices are equal to i will keep the i will put the value of q here and i will get my prices so it will be 60 minus 20 which means prices are going to be 40 in this market prices are 40 but i need to find the profit the maximized profit of this monopolist so maximized profit would be profit which is equal to so let's just do it this side so profits are equal to total revenue minus total cost so total revenue is prices into quantity so which will come out to be 800 minus total cost so total cost is f minus 20 q so that's my total cost so i have this profit function in front of me i will again put the value of this q here which will be 800 minus f minus 20 into 20 which is 400 so 800 minus 400 will come out to be 400 minus f so this is the profit of the monopolist so this is the profit this is the maximized profit of the monopolist so in next part i need to find the zero economic profits so zero economic profits happen whenever prices are equal to average cost so that the firm is just earning that much so i will just equate price equal to average cost so i will get so from here i need to equate prices equal to average cost so prices are 60 minus q equals to average cost so doing the average cost how do we find average cost we divide the total cost with q so i will get f upon q plus 20 so because i need to find the exact prices so it's better it's better let's keep it in p only let's not 
put the 60 minus q because we don't find want to find the quantity at that point we want to find the prices so i will keep it like this so this is the level of prices at the uh, at the point where the firm will earn zero economic profit so this was the solution to this question so if you want more solutions please like share subscribe to the channel thank you everyone